We had a question come through that's really good on facelifts, and they asked, what direction can you go? Do you go up or do you go back? And they had heard that some surgeons only go one way. I think this is really good, and it's really an example of how powerful the deep plane facelift is, because in a perfect facelift, you're actually pulling different directions. So when I go in with a deep portion of the facelift, we want to go mostly up. Now, it's not exactly up. You're actually tracking right along your zygomaticus major muscle, so it's kind of up and back but you really want to get a lot of sling going on because that's really going to tighten and accentuate your um, cervical mental angle. Then once you've taken that direction, you're disconnecting the skin and you're pulling the skin more parallel with the jaw. So that's mostly back. And then you come down in the neck and you come up and pull along the neck. So the deep plane facelift, and that's why they call it multi-vector because vector is basically just an arrow pointing a direction you want to pull lets you pull in multiple different directions. So you can pull it multiple different ways and that's why that uh, procedure is so powerful. Because in a facelift you don't want to just pull one direction because that's when you start getting the weird swoops, you get unusual appearances, you get unnatural anatomy. So you want to do a technique that really allows you to disconnect all those separate areas and pull them the direction they need to go. So in my facelift I'm going up, I'm going back, I'm going sideways, I'm doing it the way that each layer needs to be uh, reposition to give you the best result.